Okay, good morning, guys. So what we're going to be working on today is an animation technique called rotoscoping. And basically in rotoscoping, what you do is you literally draw over something that has been filmed. I'm putting a couple of, of examples in the um, assignment of rotoscoping. One of the most famous ones is the video for the um, song Take On Me by AHA. So I want you to download that and take a look at it. Also, it's a technique that Disney used um, in different uh, movies like Cinderella, Snow White. They used it in um, uh, things like, uh, well, Disney didn't, but a, a studio called Fleischer Studios used it on a Superman cartoon in the 40s. And it's very, very common. And uh, basically what you're doing is you're going to take a video clip that you create, and then you're going to import that clip into Photoshop. And then you're going to create layers and draw over each frame of your um, each frame of your video, and then you're going to create an animation using that. And it can be very stylized. And I've got lots of examples that I'm going to show you. But basically, um, you're going to take a video. Now, one of the things that could be problematic is those of you that are at home using your uh, Chromebook. I'm not sure if you have access to the webcam on the Chromebook to like record video. I'm pretty sure you do because I mean, obviously we do Zoom. So you could either use your webcam on your Chromebook. Now I'm going to show you guys that are going to be in class. I'm going to show you how to use your Apple computers to do this. Uh, but also you could take a video clip with your cell phone and send it to yourself, um, you know, copy it to the uh, computer email it to yourself through Schoology or through your Gmail accounts, whatever. The bottom line is I want you to think about doing a clip that is maybe, maybe five or 10 seconds long. This is gonna be very short. I just want you to do something where there's some motion and something where um, there's something that you can obviously see and draw over, you know, it shouldn't be static. So for example, maybe you'll draw yourself sitting in the chair, looking at your desk cam or something and you'll turn like the chair like this right? Or maybe you'll just go, you know, and wave at the screen, uh, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on the Mac how we're going to get the video in, uh, but it's essentially going to be the same. The bottom line is you need a short, very short video clip of yourself doing something, okay? So let me show you how to do it. All right. For those of you in the classroom, what you're going to do to get your video clip, one of the ways that you can get your video clip is to go ahead and go to go right up here at the top, go to applications, and then your applications window will open up. And what we're going to look for is photo booth. Okay, so we're going to look for photo booth. Now, another way that you could get to it, if you have this on your on your uh, control bar is to go to the launch pad and look for photo booth. Okay. And once we have that, you know, you can double click on photo booth here. And when photo booth opens, you'll see this window. Now, obviously, if I hold down, this is just for a still picture. Uh, if I click on it, it'll take a still picture. No biggie, right? But what we want to do is we want to hit the little icon that looks like a film strip over on the side right here. And now this will give us a movie clip when we press the record button as opposed to um, a still picture. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to click on it. And if I play it, there we go. So now we've got our clip. You'll see that it drops it down here in the timeline. Uh, this is basically like where we can see our clips. And I'm going to take my four second clip and click on it and drag it to the desktop. Okay, and there's my movie. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quit Photo Booth. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Photoshop, which you can do the same thing in applications, look for Photoshop. And again, I have to stress, even if you don't have, uh, you're not on a Mac or whatever, everybody knows how to take a quick video clip, take a selfie clip with your phone. However you get it to your desktop, however you get, to, get it to your computer is fine. 
So this is going to be the same for everybody. So now we're going to open up Photoshop. And now we're going to open up the clip in Photoshop. So here's my clip. And we have to do something slightly different, something that we've never done before. So that's why I'm making this video so that you can go back to this video and, and look at it over and over and over again. So what we're going to do, and I guess I'll move this up in the corner here. I'm going to go File and not Open. Because if we just open it, it's going to open it up as a still thing. So what we want to do is we want to go imp File Import Video Frames to Layers. And I'll do a screen capture of that. And so when we say Import Video Frames to Layers, it's going to give us a dialog box. So we find it, go to the desktop, there's my movie, and we're going to say um, open. And now what it is, is it's going to give you this window that we haven't seen before in Photoshop where we can actually scrub through and see what video you're going to use, right? Or how much of the video. So we can say from beginning to end, range to import, or we can do a selected range because look, I don't need this part. I don't need it till right about here. So I'm going to move up and I'm going to end it right there. And I do that, I select that range by going like this, moving this slider this way. And let's see. And this slider this way. So there is my frame. That This is the chunk that I want right here. It's not great. It's pretty embarrassing, but it's there. So what I'm going to do is the next step, which is critical, is I have to limit this. Otherwise, it's going to bring in like a ton of frames. So what we want to do is we want to limit it. And let's try to start off with, let's limit it to every four frames. Okay. And then we'll say make a frame animation. So all those things are right. And this is what we're going to do. We say, OK, oh, this is perfect. Because I said limit it to every four frames, it's only going to be 18 frames that I have to draw over. OK. And so for example, if we come up here to filter, I'm not filter, I'm sorry. If we go to view, and let's see, show, oh, no, not view. I'm sorry, where is that? Uh, window, window timeline. It'll open up our GIF, and here we go. All right, there's my animated GIF. And of course, the speed is like not great. It's too fast. Remember that I can hold down the shift key, select the first frame, and I can hold down the shift key and select the last frame. And I can change it from being 0 0.03 seconds to 0 0.2 seconds. And uh, let's see. Let's see what that looks like. That's way too slow. So I'm going to select first frame to last frame. And I'm going to select 0 0.1 seconds. And I don't mind if this is a little jerky or whatever. There, that's perfect. So here's what we're going to do. Now, if we start here on frame one, we see that on layers, layer one is selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this file, save as, and of course you'll use your name. I'm gonna save it on my computer and I'm going to save it as uh, Troxel Rotoscope.psd. And maybe I'll put a one in there because we're going to you know, maybe do more than one. All right. Now, here's where the fun part begins. So what I'm going to do is here's layer one, frame one, layer one, frame one. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to make a new layer above it. OK, and it is on that new layer where I'm going to draw. So now this is going to be really rough because you know, I'm, I'm just trying to show it to you guys and um, let you do it, but you can have fun with this and you'll see the examples in the, uh, in the assignment. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab my either my pin, my brush tool or something like that. And I can also uh, one of the things I might do is I might lighten this layer a little bit. Now I'm pretty dark and swarthy in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to put it under at the, the bottom. And on that new layer, I'm going to go ahead and fill it with white just so that's easier to see. And I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer. So now here's layer one. I don't want to be on that layer. I want to be on this layer, layer 19, which is what it's starting with. But I can also call this double click on it and say frame one. Okay, now on frame one, I'm going to draw. Oh, I should probably draw in black. You can do this with your mouse. That's not a problem. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing over myself here. You can do this with the mouse. You can do this with whatever. And remember, you guys are not as old and creepy looking as I am. So yours should turn out a lot better. So I'm just picking what lines to, to draw. Like maybe I'll draw the back of the chair here. Maybe I won't draw in my background. So now I'm gonna draw my glasses and I'm doing this quick. You don't have to do it this rough, you know, whatever you do. And maybe I'm not gonna draw my eyes. So there's my nose, my eyebrows. I don't think that looks right, but anyways, in fact, I'm gonna undo that. And of my mouth, and then I guess, I don't think any of you have a beard. Uh, drawing a beard is really tough. So, okay. And what I can do, oh, I guess I better do that. So if I turn that off, that's what I've got, okay? Now I can always keep going back and I can say, all right, I need a little more here. I need a little something. Uh, maybe I wanna put a little more detail in the glasses, I don't know. Or maybe I should do this. Like the uh, like typical uh, cartoony kind of things. So, anyways, so there we go. So now, what I'm going to do, and actually, I should probably erase those lines. They're kind of weird. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the visibility off on this and this, and I'm going to go to layer two. I'm going to make a new layer above layer two. We'll call it frame two. And I'm gonna start drawing. I'm gonna lighten this one up. Oh, and by the way, your timeline is gonna change as you go through. That's totally fine. Don't worry about your timeline now. Um, we'll fix that later. So now I'm going to say, uh, drop the opacity of layer two. Okay, I'm gonna go to frame two and I'm gonna draw my hopelessly 80s breezy boy hairstyle. Oh, the mustache and beard just never works right. And of course, I'm going to try to, I'm keeping it loose. You guys can be as detailed as you want. But remember, you want to make sure that your animation is only about 20 frames. Uh, you could do a lot more. And so, for example, when you go to import, if you open it up and you see that it's got 60 frames uh, in your layers, or 60 layers, rather, maybe you close that, go back to import it again, and then you say, uh, give me one every eight frames or every 10 frames or whatever. But obviously you want to you want to stay somewhere between four and six frames so it's not too jerky. I mean, you know, not too um, weird looking. So, all right, I'm happy with that. Turn it off, take a look at it. Okay, now turn that off, turn that off, come to layer three, lighten it, make a layer above that, call this frame three. And then I'm going to draw 
draw here. And what Disney would do in other studios, especially for dance scenes, it's so tough to draw dancing, right? To get good fluid motion for the characters. So they would film an actress in a big, in a big ball gown and a dress and then um, having her dance. And then they would later on rotoscope over that and it would be Snow White, you know, or whatever. And I, I believe there's an instance where Disney reused some animation uh, a sequence, a rotoscope scene with not only um, Snow White, but I think they used the same one in like Cinderella. I think Snow White was first. That was her first, actually that was Hollywood's first multi-million dollar animated movie. But you see how the spell rotoscoping, oh, this is getting bad. Oh, I might have to undo that. And, you know, you can look up more examples of rotoscoping. There's a lot of cool things. All right, now I'm not going to do all these layers. I just want you guys to get the idea. And by the way, since you're drawing this, you know, you don't have to worry. Uh, you know, you can, you know, you can have yourself moving in and out of frame, whatever. Okay, so now let's take a look at what we've done. So we got that. So this is essentially what we have now. We've got this to this to this. Okay, so let's animate that. And what we've got is over here on layer one, frame one. I'm going to turn this on. Layer two, frame two, on, off. Layer three, frame three, on off. And so now um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this stuff so we can get rid of it. So here's my animation so far. All right. So it's going fast, but you get the idea. And I'm looking up. So let's do one more frame. Let's make a new frame here. And let's do layer four, turn off frame three make a new layer. Oh, this is good because I got, I've got a hand in there. So this is going to be kind of weird. So I'm going to make a new layer above it and I'm going to drop the opacity down and come here on layer 22, which I'll call frame four. And draw this. Now, I fully expect that you guys are going to be drawing this. It's going to take you at least, um, I'm thinking, two blocks, you know, two, two classes to get your animation completely done. Okay? So I don't want you to rush through this. I want you to take your time. Do not do what I am doing and kind of rush through it. I'm rushing through it for the purposes of a demo. Now, so here's my beard thing. One, two, three. Now, how am I going to do my hand? Well, I can do this. Right, and I can have my fingers coming up like this, right? And then I can also do something like this, a couple of animation lines to show motion, right? So let's see, I gotta come here. And now of course, every time I draw a new frame, it's gonna appear. So in I gotta turn off frame four, okay? and turn off, let's see, so where are we at? So this is here, this is here, this is here, this is here. So now I gotta turn on that frame we just drew. 
So I, I see I made an extra frame, not a problem. So you guys can see right there, if we go one, two, 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 there's my hand coming up and we'll do um, one more real quick. And I'm gonna change the opacity here. This is gonna be frame five. And let's draw on it real quick. It's getting really rough. But if I do this, chubby cheeks, nose, nostril, nostril, line. Big disingenuous smile. Mustache part, beard part. Oh, that mouth is really weird looking. If it were if it were me and I had time, I would go back and redo it. Okay, or maybe something like this. Now, again, I'm just trying to get this down so you guys can see the concept. And you'll notice that I'm not putting more detail um, like in the shirt from frame to frame. I'm trying to keep it consistent. Oh, I think I left the chair off. Or did I, yeah, I left the chair off. So what I can do is I can go back and erase it. Oh, let me put a few more speed lines in here or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna come here to make a new, uh, let me fix this, turn this off, turn this off, turn on frame four make a new frame in the animation, turn this on. Okay, so now I can come back here and I have to turn off the frame that's on here. And I'm gonna to come to frame one and let's go ahead and delete this chair so I can be consistent. Okay, so now let's take a look at my animation. Uh, oh, I gotta come back to frame five and turn that on. And so let's see, start here. And that is rotoscoping. So make sure that you save your work, file, save as, or you know, save it. Saving it on my computer, Troxel Rotoscope 1. Let's see. And then say save. And uh, remember, you can go crazy and you'll see in some of the examples if I wanted to come back and add splashes of color or whatever. Now tomorrow I'll, I'll show you how you're gonna export it, but basically what you can do is um, uh, we're gonna, we can export just like before, um, export as or save for web rather, and do it as a GIF, just follow along like you did everything else. The bottom line is you got your timeline animation and that's it. So I anticipate that you're gonna take about two, today and tomorrow to draw this, color it, make your animation, and then you know we'll take a look at them on Friday. So any questions, uh, shoot me a message in, the, in Schoology, but please just watch this video like over and over again, and you should be able to figure it out. It should work. Um, look, at the, look at the examples I'm gonna put in the assignment and uh, this is literally one of the most fun projects I think we do. And I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. The only challenge you're gonna have, the Photoshop side is easy. The only challenge you're going to have is getting that, doing a short video clip and getting it to your computer. If you're doing it on your Chromebook, you'll probably have to email it to yourself through your school email account. Um, and then, you know, 
import it, put it on your desktop or import it directly into Photoshop. Very short clip. Remember the key is that that frames like limit to every two frames, every four frames, every six frames on the import dialog screen. So that's going to be the key. So if you have any questions, rewatch this video. And if there's something you're really stuck on, just send me a message. All right, thanks. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Or wait a minute.